This is One on One. There he is. I think you know this face, Alan Zweibel, co-author of a wonderful book called Lunatics. How you doing, Alan? I'm doing great, thanks. Listen, you may or may not know his face, but man, you know his work. Alan's one of the uh, original writers on Saturday Night Live all the way back in 1975. He was there in the beginning. They never partied, but they did great work. Uh, yeah, his, it was very strict, absolutely, yes. yeah. Also, one of my favorite shows, The Gary Shandling Show, terrific. Monk, Curb Your Enthusiasm. God, that Larry David's got a charming personality. Um, <laughs> but he is here to talk about his book, Lunatics, which he co-wrote with another great writer, Dave Barry, but you didn't do this thing together. It's a tag team thing. Yeah. He it, wrote it where and you're where? Well, I'm in Short Hills, New Jersey, okay, right. which is nearby the studio, yes. by the way, right down the parkway. Uh, Dave is in Coral Gables, Florida. Right. And I wanted to write something with him. And um, I wanted to write a novel. You're looking at the two of you, right? Eh? Oh, the handsome you look, guys at right look, there. look at that. Yeah. So, so did you did decide who was What we do did what? was he said, How are we going to do this? We live 1,500 miles apart. So we came up with this plan. Okay, fine, we're going to alternate chapters. We're each going to play or write in the voice of a different character. Two characters who um, have a feud. Okay, let me see. The two characters. One is Philip Hor is it Horkman? Horkman. Yeah, Horkman. Philip Horkman. And then Jeffrey Peckerman. Indeed, yeah. Love the names. Yes. These are Italian names. These are Italian names, and um, yeah, we <laughs> we really <laughs> we really went a high level class wise when we came up with those names. There's a lot names. of Jewish humor here. Well, I'm I picked a, it up. Uh, I'm a Jew, and no, you a, are not. Uh, I know something. I know I come <laughs> off a little Nordic to people, but no, I'm in fact a Jew. So we picked these names and these two characters who would clash and have a feud. Um, his child plays soccer. My Got kids it. played soccer. Your soccer dads? Soccer dads. One is a ref. One is an overzealous soccer dad. And in the championship game, the ref calls a ten-year-old girl offside when she kicks what would be the winning goal. Her father goes nuts, so there's a feud between the ref and the dad. And we said, okay, let's have a feud. Let's alternate chapters. I'll be the voice of the ref. You'll be the cho uh, voice of the dad. And let's see how it escalates. And it escalated to having uh, worldwide uh, implications. Um, brought democracy to Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> About two million bananas to the starving folks in Somalia. It just escalated into fun? this romp. What's that? How much fun? It was great fun because most of the things that I'm writing now. Oh, we should let. I'm sorry yeah. for interrupting. We sure. should let Dave, people know who Dave is because Dave writes a syndicated column. And I've been reading his stuff for a long time. Let's let people know who well, he is. Dave Barry is a Pulitzer Prize winning columnist, humor columnist um, from Miami Herald. And he's got maybe 50 books out prolific. there. Prolific. Very prolific, and it's really funny because inside that book, when it says other works by, <laughs> Dave has got page after page yes. after page, and they gave me a nice little corner at the bottom. Yes, I see it. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so there are a lot of characters in this book that struck me. Yeah. Okay. It's a cast of um, literally thousands. We, um, and what we, what we did was we basically improv this novel. We didn't steer it in any direction. I had no idea what he was going to write. Once I sent him a chapter, I would send him a chapter, he'd get it, and I have, we did not know what the other one was going to be doing. All we, had, all we knew is that the other one was going to escalate the story. So it was just like doing Curb Your Enthusiasm, where you really don't know what the other person is going to say, but you just go along with the dialogue and then it becomes a scene. We did that with the whole book. So let me get this straight. You could never have done this, Alan, with the kind of writer who was saying, Alan, you got to tell me before I get this what it's about so I can start thinking about it beforehand. Absolutely. That ain't going to work. No, and you know something? Uh, you're absolutely right. And it, for me, it was uh, having my roots in live television that kept me in the moment. Go, okay, Yeah, and, and go ahead and do it. Just react. And with Dave, somebody who's a columnist for uh, forever, you bang where you had out. deadlines, you got to bang it out. So we stayed in the moment, and there was no time to overthink. Okay, but here's the thing I was thinking. As I was looking at the book, I'm thinking, how the hell did these guys know when to end it? Well, <laughs> you know something? It was because our editor at Putnam said, hey, guys, it's due on the 15th. And we're going, oh, my God, all right, what are we going to do? So then we said, all right, we've got to bring the guys home because they were in China at that point. Okay, well, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> but, but, uh, but are you talking on the phone and emailing each other? Are you saying, hey, Dave, listen, come on. Well, Let's figure out, I mean, it's one thing to say, 
you're sitting there waiting to see what Dave writes, and it, it sounds very romantic and fascinating. But I've got to, yes, but I've got to believe at some point, like, hey, listen, <laughs> we're up against it here. Well, that, when that deadline came, yes, we said, okay, fine, what are the beats that we're going to go for? Not right. knowing what the other one would do within those beats. And the well, old, be, well, what do you mean by that? Well, by a beats, well, well, guys language. were in China, okay? They w we went around the world, all right? They're in China now. Are they fighting the whole time? The whole time they're bickering. Are they friends? No, they were, they were enemies. Think about... Okay, Larry David and the guy that he, st that he stole the tickets from at the Lakers game because his father died. Could be those two. Nobody knows what we're talking well, about, unless you know the series. He wait, the guy wasn't even, the body wasn't dead. He goes, hey, come on, I, I, let me have the tickets. What's that guy's name? Oh, God. He's, cra he's Crash Dave, and, and uh, forget what... Oh, oh yeah, he, it's, he, it's the Albert Brooks's brother. It's, um, um, it's uh, you, uh, Bob Einstein. Yes. They're always fighting. They're not really friends. Well, these two guys start off as enemies, and they become, um, you know, they travel around. The think of the in-laws with Peter Falk and Alan Arkin. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Also think about uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, yes. John Candy. So you got two people who are in a situation. They're not exactly crazy about each other, but they have to be with each got other. Got it. And they never become friends, and, and you're obviously not going to give away the end of the book. Uh, what kind of reaction have you gotten? We've gotten extreme reactions. People love it. They think it's really funny. And then there are those people that are going, what the hell do you do? What do you do here, you know? It's not to be taken seriously. It's an out and out romp. And by and large, the reviews have been terrific and the um, responses have been great. Now, is Dave, does Dave happen to be Jewish? No, he's like honorary Jewish in a way. <laughs> um, he's married to a Jew uh, who's from Cuba and she calls herself a Jubin, I believe. A Jubin. Yeah, a Jubin. And, but Dave, you know, I, he's like an honorary member of the tribe. You Do know? you think it's any funnier? Like, see, I'm, I'm one of these people who is obsessed by reading everything connected to, I should say, uh, I was about to say Italian-American culture, but then disproportionately, there are a lot of organized crime books, but send the letters to someone else. Um, <laughs> But I feel like I appreciate it because I grew up in a certain neighborhood. Right. Do you think that even while everyone will love this book, do you think that being Jewish will help you appreciate it more? It helps a little bit more. You know, I co-wrote uh, with my friend uh, Billy Crystal a Broadway show called 700 Sundays, which yes. if, you if you're a Jew who lives on o Long Island, you appreciate it a little more because of reference points. But you don't have to. But be. you don't have to be. All you have to do is have, have had a family with this. All you have to figure out is, no, is two people who don't get along who are going to be with each other. That's you all. Could, you could be Polish and that could happen. Absolutely. You could be Italian. You, you could, could be, be anything. Anything. Anything at all. This is for everyone. Alan Zwebel and uh, Dave Barry. The book is called Lunatics. And there are a lot of lunatics Watch. I don't mean that in a negative way, but creative <laughs> lunatics watching one-on-one -on, -one on PBS. And uh, it's gotten great reviews. And Alan, I want to thank you. I've been a fan of your work for a thank long time. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure Appreciate being you coming here. in. Thank you, Steve. Good stuff. By the way, he's not going to say it publicly, but he actually told us he was a fan of one-on-one -on -one before. He's, he, but he will not say it publicly. I'm a huge fan of this show. It's too late. You're off the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn. We'll be back after this. <laughs> thank you. Alan. Funding for this edition of One-on-One -on -One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the Merck Company Foundation, JFK Medical Center, your hospital, your health, Health First New Jersey, and by St. Peter's College, education, one student at a time. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source, and NorthJersey.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.